one of the things that's come up uh, in some of the other sessions, and I've been here uh, in as many of them as I could get to all week, uh, early on, I can't, it might have been the one with Tony Jordan, it might have been another one, more than one of them, the question has come up, why is there so many cop shows on TV? Why is it all cops and docs? And I have an opinion on that. I think it's as fundamental as these are characters in life and death situations and they're very high stakes, but I think it's got to be more than that. And I, maybe I'll throw that out to everybody here. Why is this genre, which on one hand as a writer, you don't necessarily want to have to go into that world all the time. It very limits all of our opportunities when there's so few genres that are so consistently uh, popular, but clearly the audience wants them. So why do you all think that's the case? Why is it so internationally popular? So should we do a quick, we'll do a quick speed date on this? Okay, so why? Why? Um, I, sorry, I, I personally think that cops and docs are so popular because you, it can instantly put people in dramatic situations. So I think people, you start, you watch it, the opening of Casualty and you kind of pick up straight away what's going to happen. And although I think Casualty does it very well because although the initial situation is often very dramatic, you then go into a more human drama afterwards. But I, I think that's why people watch them because th there is instant drama. And I think particularly more with the the docs than cops is that people can empathise with a, a, a lot of the characters that are in there. That's my take. Yeah. Um, I agree. Um, I, I think just from a writer's point of view, I never came to writing crime as someone who even thought of herself as a crime writer, didn't read much crime, didn't watch much crime, but um, pragma pragmatist, um, it's a really popular genre and lots of people watch it and want it. And I thought, well, I think I can play this to my own advantage. If I can find a world that fits into that genre, that tells the stories I want to tell, then that will make a great show. And ultimately, do you know, is there a writer in this room that doesn't agree with this? Because when you start your careers on, on the, the early shows where you are a writer working for a long-running show that's been created by somebody else, Ultimately, the way to put your own voice, heart and soul into it is to find a way to make that show tell your stories, isn't it? And to find a way to allow that show to just give you the opportunity for that canvas. And I think, you know, in fact, that is, that's the clue to fantastic crime writing because otherwise they'd all, they'd all end up the same. It, it's the distinctive voice that's got to come through, the distinctive ideas, and just use it as a proscenium arch in which to, to play that out, is my theory. Mine's very simple, too. It's, it's, it is extremely dramatic. It is, it is highly charged, whereas drama has a different tone. Uh, crime grips you instantly. I like to sit on the edge of my seat. I don't want to do it. Um, and, but that's actually the fact. Me as a writer, too, I write crime because I like to sit on the edge of my seat when I'm on the computer, too. It is, it is really what juices me most because I will spend six months or a year or even longer with a bunch of characters. And if it's about life and death, then I will stick with them and I will fear with them and I will root for them. If it's a romantic comedy, I just don't. That's not me. I am thrilled for anybody who's able to write those kind of stories. I couldn't for the life. I'd bore myself to death. Um, that's my take. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really important for writers to be viewers too and, and love, love what you do, love what you watch. And any thoughts from the floor? Yes. So, uh, speaking from a, a viewer's viewpoint on that last uh, line of questioning, I think it's because the viewer with cops and docs, a viewer becomes a collaborator as well so that you've got a crime that we're helping you solve from our sofas. We're trying to work it out as the characters are. And it's the same with um, a hospital drama. You know, someone comes in, they can't work out what's wrong with it. We're all trying to work it out at home too. So I think it's, we feel like we're collaborating along with you sometimes. Yeah. So I think that's, for me, that feels like why it could be successful as well. So. That's a really good point. I, I agree. I think Julie should come up here. Yeah. The, the, the precinct dramas all do that game, don't they? And it's part of the collaborative kind of uh, dynamic of the four. And, and, it, and it's brilliant. I mean, that is one of the reasons why we all love it. 
But into that, I mean, I, I'm, I suppose I'm preaching for the extra rich, riches that you can add to that. You can be on the edge of your seat, and within that genre, you can be in a room where someone breaks their heart, and you break your heart with them. And, you know, it, it's a crime drama, but actually it could be any drama, because you are using that to allow that, that to happen. Thank you.